Now the final final product, which I've labeled final product number two, is that you're actually going to create a mask of the animal that you selected to do the um, final products on. So you've now created a PictoChart presentation. What we're going to do is create a 3D paper mache mask um, out of whatever. Um, and the mask should be something that can actually fit and be worn to your face. So it'll be a pretty large um, creation um, of your critter. I've done this in the past um, many, many years ago when I first started teaching. It was very a successful um, endeavor. The mask can be, um, I, in terms of supplies that I have in the room, I will have paper. Paper will probably will, will be toilet tissue. Toilet tissue actually works pretty good in this situation. I have multiple paint paint brushes, we have balloons that we can use to blow up to form a kind of a shape, um, string, scissors, etc. Um, there may be things that you want to bring in additional to use here to create this mask. My um, anticipation is that we will be able to use and work in the classroom in a safe COVID environment. Um, for you to do this, but it also may be something that you have to do at home. Now the caveat is that I may have to um, delete or exempt this final product from Summit depending upon whether or not we are in school or if we're online by the end of the semester because that's a possibility with the COVID rates that we're, we're currently experiencing right now. So this could or could not be done. It's way down the line. It's kind of the final thing to do for your final exam for the semester is how I'm kind of looking at it um, to complete. So we will get to this um, if we can get to it by the end of the semester. So stay tuned on this one. We may have more coming up um, on it based upon what may be happening um, with COVID.